Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 11th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Volcano Activity Report, and as well, our planetary positions for November. Having a look here into the Milky Way and now into our solar system, as Earth is in the middle of all of our big players right now, all our planets except for Pluto in one corner of the solar system. This planetary alignment hasn't happened in hundreds of years. You can look back on this app, Solar Walk. This is where we're getting these images from. Thank you so much for tuning in, having a look at our current planetary positions. As we've got Venus over there in between Saturn and the Sun and Jupiter on the other side. So two major gas giants on either side of Earth. Mars getting ready to go retrograde with Jupiter. And Mercury will be going retrograde with Earth in the beginning of December. Put this into motion towards the end of the month. You can see Earth right in the middle of all three gas giants right now. Very interesting and peculiar earthquake activity. Watch for that to increase when we get towards the first week of December. As Mercury will be going retrograde and we always see an earthquake uptick on our planet during the retrograde. The retrograde will start December 2nd. be completely in between December 4th and then the 6th it will leave our retrograde so heads up we do have an earthquake watch and warning for the first week of December let's get to volcanoes active and erupting around the planet orange and red icons we have 69 volcanoes around the world that are active and erupting right now we're going to start out here through the Aleutian Islands with the Great Sitkin and as well Katmai. And then down into Mexico with Popocatetl as been reporting all week long, multiple eruptions there. We've got Santiaguito, Fuego, San Cristobal, Masaya, Concepcion, and as well Recon de la Veja and Pos. Nevadas de Ruiz, Pirachi, that's a new one, Reventador, Cotopaxi, Sangay, and as well, Fernandina. Down into Peru, Sabancaya, who's been erupting since 1972, Obinus Volcano, Copahue, through Chile, and as well, Villarica. Down into the South Sandwich Islands with my volcano, the Michael Volcano. Then overlooking Africa. We've got El Doño, Langai, and as well near Mirigira and near Mirigongo. Or near Gongo. And then a new volcano awakening here, parts of North Africa, Somalia. Fantail, Fantail, not sure how that's pronounced, but that is a new one. And as well, we've got Urta Ale, large shield volcano. Moving across the Mediterranean, up into Italy, where we've got the Etna volcano, which has been active this week as well, Stromboli. And now we're going to get to the volcanic field. We've got the Barren Island Volcano as well, Merapi Volcano. Kerinchi. Dempo, that's a new one as well. Krakatoa. Merapi. Semeru. And the Rung Volcano. Showing signs. And, of course, the Luatobi volcano, as it had multiple eruptions this week, visible here on satellite imagery on Zoom Earth. Having a look, let's go back to November 7th when this all started. 
They woke up to a large eruption. In the early morning, overnight the eruption happened. Looks here to be about 1 a.m. And they woke up to a massive pyroclastic cloud, ash and debris. And then the warnings went out and we had another eruption there on the 8th. Satellite imagery here looks like something blew up over parts of eastern Indonesia. And that is the Luatobi volcano. This particular cloud reached heights of 45,000 feet. And this thing is still going, my friends and family. One of 69 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Looking here, big eruption. Friday, November 8th. And then on the 9th. This is what it looked like across our skies, across Indonesia, filled with SO2 and particulates. Carrying on here with the Luatolo volcano, which is active and erupting just beside there. Northern Indonesia with the Gamalama volcano, Dakono, and Ibu, Kurangatang, the Rung, or Ruang. And then into the Philippines, we've got the Canalone, or Canlone, and then the Tal volcano, and Mayan volcano. Moving up into Japan, we've got the Ebu volcano, and as well as Sakurajima. Kikai, and as well, Suisinajima, Volcano Islands region, Nishinashima, and as well, Iwo Jima. Lots of activity this week, earthquakes, Marianas Trench. Up into eastern Russia, Kamchatka with the Alade Volcano and Ebiko. Karmiski. Shivluch. Kluchevskoy, and as well, Bezimiani. Carrying on here now to Papua New Guinea with the Manam Volcano, Uluwan, and Bagana. Then a newly awakened volcano here, Tinakula Volcano, Ayoba Volcano, Yes Sir, and as well, the Matthew Island Volcano, which is new. Minor activity or eruption warning. Into the Tonga region, Home Reef Volcano. And as well, Tofua. White Island Volcano, quiet. And then last but not least, the mighty Erubis. which is the largest and only active and erupting volcano on the Antarctic continent. Amazing images here of the mighty Erubus. So right now, yes, we have an active and erupting 69 volcanoes across the world. I've never reported this many before in my broadcasting history, which has been seven years. And before that, I was doing a lot of research, never reported this many. So we've got almost double, if not triple, the amount of active and erupting volcanoes since we did five years ago. And we've seen some of the largest volcanic eruptions on our planet just in the past few years. The Tonga, Iceland, La Palma, Mount Etna, Stromboli. Around the world, this is having a look at our SO2 forecast for the next few days. Stay tuned for tonight's update, give you a full update on all of our most recent space weather events, earthquakes, and of course, volcanoes, as we have 69 of them. Please share this with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Thank you.